how to deal how to deal with with obstacles what is your do you have what mm -hmm. do you want to share about this question first of all yeah don't be so frustrated about by obstacles <laughs> Obstacles are designed to help you develop your resiliency muscle, your perseverance muscle. You don't get strong without obstacles. You can't Google download strength. You can't Google down. No, nope, it doesn't happen, David. You can't Google download forgiveness. You can't. You want all these things in your character. You want the character of a giant, but you don't want to climb the mountain. The mountain are the obstacles. The mountains are someone did something that betrayed you and you have to find it in your soul to love them anyway. That's when your character's built. When you see something that is, you go, how, I'll never get past this. I'll never get past this debt. I'll never get past this broken relationship. And then you'd find something in you and you go, wait a minute, no matter what, <laughs> I am bigger than my circumstances. On the other side of it, you're not the same person. You're not the same being. But you can't get there without this obstacle. Obstacles are designed to show you your leap muscle, to show you your love muscle, to show you your compassion muscle, to show you your ability to bounce back. It's not how many times can you leap forward, mm. it's how many times you can bounce back that's gonna determine your longevity. Obstacles are designed to support your growth. You ask for patience, you're gonna get a situation. You ask for, I wanna be a, forg I wanna forgive. You're gonna get someone that's gonna make you mad. They're designed to come into your life to make you a better man, to make me a better woman. They're not designed to stop you. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh. You freeze for a moment, but only for a moment long enough to determine your next move. Only long enough to go, who am I right now? Who do I want to be known for? How do I want to be remembered in this situation? What story? Every time I go through something, David, every time I'm in a sticky situation, I go, promise, every time I go, what story do I want to be told about me on how I handled this? This is what you're doing. We're now sitting in 2013. You want to project out and you want to be in your 2020 version of you. What would the 2020 version of me do or say? And then you want to do it now. Because mm. now you're growing toward the, the man you're becoming. Does that make sense? Yeah. You don't, you don't respond. If you respond the same way you responded in 2009, so, uh, you've already been that person. Who are you now? Obstacles show you who you are. The, the area that I find how I grow, when I find I've grown, is when I'm faced with the obstacle and I respond a different way. I go, ooh, look, I've grown. Because yeah. in 2008, I would have went crazy. So we can say that the obstacles are not only the opportunity to, to grow, but also the opportunity to, the opportunity to see that you, to measure your growth. Yeah, to measure Absolutely, your growth. to measure your growth. And you have to stop and celebrate yourself. Like I look at myself today, and I'm not perfect by no means. I simply have learned how to manage my imperfection. I look at myself today, and I, 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 someone said, what would you do if someone came up to you and they were yelling and screaming at you? I said, they don't get to trigger me. They won't make me lose sight of who I am. They said, how could you say that? I said, because they don't have that much power over me. I control me. I design my destiny. They're a stimuli. They're a stimulus. That's it. But I decide. You have the pen in your hand to write your entire autobiography. You design your destiny. No one is ever holding the pen in your hand. Now, you may think someone is influencing you because they're screaming and yelling at you, but you still write, I'm angry. <laughs> you still write, I hate. Or you write, I love. I love in spite of mm. your pen, your story, always. I love that. Yeah. When I finally got that, because you know, otherwise you think it's because of your mom or your dad or your ex or your next. <laughs> <laughs> you, will, you give other people too much power. Yeah. I used to give other people a lot of power. I gave my community power. 
I gave my my environment power. I gave my culture power. And I went, whoa, wait a minute. I have the power. I got the power always. Yeah.